It is not just the light that brought in the city street tonight. Electric power is so essential today, it is hard to imagine life without it. Electricity is produced in another method, one of them being hydroelectric generation and wind electric generation, capturing Mother Nature's readily available assistance, which gives us energy and at the same time, environmentally friendly. All of this is possible but depends on various energy provider. If practicing this method is idealist or sticking with the primitive method which is using fossil fuels could downgrade air quality but mostly drain the economy of a country since fossil fuels is expensive. Then in my oral research, points will be made as of why energy provider should provide immaculate energy in Vitilevu how this is good for combating air pollution and does it stresses or relieves economy. Firstly, immaculate energy is considered to be the best way of generating electric energy since it does not put nature in risk. In Fiji at Vitu level particularly, where it is the epicenter of urban drift for education, labor and many more, Electricity is essential to ease variety of obstacles from cleaning to many other activity that needs electricity. Now, Energy Fiji Limited is a sole independent energy provider which looks in satisfying the need of electricity. But with this monopoly reign, comes with responsibility which is to look into innovative ideas in providing electric water electric producing plant that is both air friendly and water pollution free and doesn't stress the economy. Thus, opting into hydroelectric generation which is located in Manasavu Dam. Yet, even with this, it hasn't been able to power all of the mainland. Hence, to tackle this, Nandarivatu Dam was commissioned. Now, Nandarivatu Dam was commissioned way back in 2007, but then fully completed in 2017, 10 years later. Now, with the commission of Nandarivatu Dam, Monasavu Dam is there, we have energy in Fiji, fully provided to each and individual homes. Now, if there is to be a problem with these two dams, Take for example a cyclone or an earthquake which could ruin the line grid. Now this is where diesel engine comes up to provide electricity in populated areas like Suva could only increase the chance of air toxicities which ruin the air quality and can lead to health issues. For instance China tops the world with the most air toxicities as of 2019, a study conducted by the University of Adelaide. This could also be an issue in Vitilevu, cities like Suva, Lutoka, but the usage of diesel energy is only during an emergency as I've already stated. Like cyclone recovery and not in the long term run like before. Now before, before the commission of either Monosavu Dam nor Nandarivatu, Suva Suva get the electricity from this kind of power station that uses fossil fuel and which provides a lot of fumes and carbon dioxide which ruin, not ruin, but has an impact towards the environment and of course human health. Now, and also Butoni Wind Farm was commissioned. Butoni is located in Singatoka. Now, with a comparison of the diesel energy before, the amount of carbon emission is reduced dramatically. Now, before, when this kind of plant that pro produce electricity, for example, the one in Kinoya, it provides a lot of carbon emission throughout the environment. Now, once this was uh, slowed down uh, by the use of Monasavu Dam and Andarivatu Dam. Each year, 
Now each year, each year the carbon emitted was reduced dramatically from 40,320 tons to approximately 25,301 tons. Now this is a major leap towards providing uh, immaculate energy by EFL. Now this is not only a this this not only provide cleaner air but also prove that a small nation like Fiji cares for the betterment of their citizen health and also the environment. To continue with this immaculate energy being provided for each and everyone, the question that is often asked if this stresses or relieves the economy. That's the most question that is usually asked by a lot of people. Yes, it is true. But to answer this question, yes, it does. It does release the economy. With comparison from the previous years, at least $14.33 million. Now, that's Fijian dollars have been saved alone from buying fossil fuels. Fossil fuel is something it's so expensive nowadays that it only makes other countries like Dubai and America rich rather than third world countries like us. So, yeah. Now, from which could be used in this fourteen point three three million dollars could be used in healthcare, education, or social securities of our country. Now, yeah, it's true that all dams need maintenance and some sort of work, but it costs only cost three hundred thousand dollars. That includes removal of logs from reservoir and other things which could block water intake funnel. And from foreign international exchange, at least Fijian $8.7 million had been saved also. Now this, this plays a good role in our economy and also an environment to run a country or business. Like seriously, this, this way of harnessing electric energy in, provided by Energy Fiji Limited is so essential nowadays. So smart. Other forms of uh, smaller companies like Solar Fiji has been looking to in this plan of providing immaculate energy by lots of solar panels, handing it, them out to outer islands. Now this reduces the chance of pollution and also increases the chance of productivity towards a company in providing jobs for people who are jobless. So to conclude, for energy provider to provide immaculate energy in Vitilevu is a winning move by which it saves money and also reduces the risk of air intoxication and could contribute in reducing the nation's carbon footprint. Also provide opportunities for the surrounding environment to heal. Now, <clears throat> take a look at Monosavu Dam. It is so green, it attracts a lot of wildlife into it. Now, if you take a look at this power station in Kinoya, it doesn't. It only attracts nothing. Now, this way, if you look into into solutions rather than dig into problems, this way we could really save our economy but also the environment. Thank you.